Okay, we are back for warm-ups, month three, <coughs> sorry, cycle three of the year. <coughs> so it's the beginning of December now. Month three, week two. We start off with running in place. And then punch, just keep your hands up and keep your feet moving. And now you're going to put your feet here, and the goal is to hop like this. If I do that, <clears throat> my everything in my cabinet shakes. The goal is to have the feet going here. And knees. Other side. And shuffle forward and back. It's actually taping. And kicks front side back. Okay, so now you have to do that two more times. Run in place, 30 seconds. Punches, 30 seconds. Um, feet forward and back, 30 seconds. Knees, 30 seconds. Shuffle, forward and back, 30 seconds. And kicks, front side back, 30 seconds. Two more sets. Stop the video and do it again. Okay, so you should have done three sets of the warm up. Your heart rate should be over 120 right now. Reach up and reach for the floor. Over to one side, grab your ankle, pull your chest to your knee. Down to the side stretch. Turn your hip flexor, turn, toe out past your ankle, pushing your hip flexor down toward the floor. Come to the center, toes straight forward, push your knees out. Other side, grab your ankle. Down to the side stretch. Turn, twist, uh, stretch your hip flexor. And have a seat. Okay, feet are here. If you can.
can grab your ankles and keep your back flat here, not rounded, then it's okay to grab your ankles. If, if your back is rounded, put your hands here and then press alternating knees towards the floor. Feet out, toes up, chin up, elbows toward the floor. Pull your feet in, stand up, cross one foot over the other, keep your chin up and reach for the floor. And switch your feet. Put your feet both facing forward, squat down, heels on the floor, rock back and forth. Then put your hands down and straighten out your legs. Okay, so for the conditioning drills, I would like you to get a partner. So for the first set, one person is going to offer targets. You're going to offer your targets here. So if I'm the person who's hitting, I'm going to do one, five sets of hook punches, two, three, four, five, and then down for five push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, and back up. One two, three, four, five, and down for five push-ups. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm up and I'm holding targets. My partner's gonna do hook punches. Five sets, five push-ups. Five sets, five push-ups. Okay, pause the video if you need to. Make sure you both do it. Then you're gonna sit down on the floor facing your partner and you're gonna lock legs. So we both do a sit up and I come up and I offer targets and my partner does two punch, uh, punches, jab left, right. And we both sit up and then I do two punches. And then my partner does two punches. And I do two. And my partner does two. And I don't care if there's not somebody else in your house who takes karate. 90% of you live with somebody else. Go get them to do this with you. Everybody should be working out. If they don't want to work out, promise them that you'll do something nice for them, like make them cookies or something. But get them to be your partner for this drill. Actually, you need them for some other drills too. <clears throat> okay, last one. You don't need a partner for this one, except to get in each other's face and make sure you're both doing it. So my toes are facing straight forward. I'm going to step out squat. Step back in, step back and lunge. And then the other foot. Squat, lunge. Squat, lunge. Squat, lunge. Squat, lunge. Squat, lunge. Okay, so now I want you to go back with your partner and do at least one more set of all of those. Five sets of hook punches, five push-ups. Five sets of hook punches, five push-ups. Then trade jobs. Sit down on the floor, at least 20 sit-ups. So 10 of them you're the target and 10 of them you're striking. And then at least 10 sets. Squat, <clears throat> lunge, that's one. You gotta do at least 10 more. Okay, pause the video if you need to. And then when you come back, you still need your partner. Okay, so what you're gonna do, <clears throat> you face your partner. Um, we'll pretend I'm your partner. We're shuffling back and forth. We're facing each other. Okay, and then I'm gonna throw a combination. I'll explain the combination to you first. I'll show it to you. And then you're gonna do it with your partner. So the first one that we're doing <clears throat> is just um, 
Just is, is someone gonna swing at your head? You're gonna duck and jab cross. So I shuffle and just randomly in my shuffle, I duck, punch, punch. Duck, punch, punch. And then I keep moving. So now you're my partner right now. So when I duck and punch, punch, you have to do it with me and then go right, right back to shuffling with me. Make sure when you duck, you duck this way and not that way. This way offers your face as a target for their knees. Okay, next one we're gonna do, next combination. Jab, cross, we'll do front leg roundhouse kick. So I'm gonna shuffle, and randomly I'm gonna stop, jab, cross, roundhouse kick. So now you do it right back to me, and then we go back to shuffling. We're shuffling, jab, cross, kick. Right back to shuffling. As soon as you see me pause to do the combo, you do it too. Okay, next one. Front kick, side kick. So we're shuffling. Front kick, side kick. Right back to shuffle. So when you see me do the kick, or whatever the combo is, in this case it's the, the two kicks, you do it with me, and then right back to shuffling. Okay, next one. Parry, roundhouse kick. So I'm gonna shuffle, someone's sort of punch at my head. Parry, round kick. Okay, we have one more. The last one is front leg, pitch jockey, front hand jab. So shuffle, pitch jockey, jab. Okay, so now what I want you to do with your partner, <clears throat> you did it with me. Now you have two options with your partner. The first one is you're facing your partner and you're taking turns. So one of you might do it for a minute or one of you might do it 10 times. You pick one of those combos that I did or any combo that you want and you do it and your partner does it back to you. And if the person who is your partner says, okay, I already did a bunch of sit-ups and a bunch of push-ups and I'm done, I'm not doing it anymore. Take pity on them, let them sit in the chair. You shuffle, when they call out a combo, you do it. If you both take karate, you don't have that option. You both gotta do it. Okay, and then <clears throat> um, go get a drink and then come on back for the rest of the class. Okay, we are back for Karate Kids Advanced. Month three, cycle three, month three, week two. Okay, so this month you're getting your stripe for excellence. And we've been working, doing a lot of excellence drills. You're getting your star for attitude. And if you have a bad attitude, you're not gonna get a star for that. You're gonna get a star for good attitude. So what we're talking about this week is garbage dump thinking. <clears throat> so all the stuff in your house that's trash or that's compost goes out in the trash or in the compost, right? And the good stuff stays in the house. You're gonna do the same thing with your thoughts. So I want you to get some pieces of paper and you're gonna write on these pieces of paper. So I'm gonna write on one of these pieces of paper. I'm gonna write a garbage dump thought. I'm too uncoordinated to ever be good at karate. Okay, so that's a garbage dump thought. I'm too uncoordinated to ever be good at karate. Then I'm gonna write down a thought that's about a positive attitude. So let's see, um, I exercise every day. Okay, then another bit of garbage dump thinking. Um, I'll never be able to kick really high. And then another piece of good, good attitude. I'm really good at traditional forms. 
Okay, so now I'm going to take these things that are garbage dump thinking. See, I'm going to, these are my garbage dump thinking. And I'm going to crumple them up like you would pieces of trash. And I'm going to throw them in the trash. The trash is in the other room. I'm going to go put it in the other room. Normally, it's right, it's right there where the camera is. So I'm going to take my garbage dump thoughts and I'm going to go put them in the trash. And then I want you to take your good thoughts and I want you to fold them up. Okay, I'm putting them in a, in a glass because that's what I happen to have. But I'm putting them in a glass or you put it in a jar or Ziploc baggie or your hat. Okay, I'd like you to do more than two. But if I, you don't need to stand here and watch me write 10 pieces of little paper. And then every day this week when I get up, I'm going to pull one of these things out. And this one says, I exercise every day. And that's a very positive thing that I do. That's a good thing. So that's not garbage dump thinking. That's good attitude. So even if it's raining and I don't want to exercise, I'm going to do something. And then the next day, I'll pull another one out. And this one says, I'm really good at traditional forms. So I'm going to pick a couple of my traditional forms and I'm going to do extra practice on them so that I get even better at them. Okay, so the stuff that's garbage dump that you're not good at, you have to acknowledge it, but you don't want to focus on it. Roll them, acknowledge them, write them down on a piece of paper, then crumple them up and throw them in the trash. Get rid of them. Things that you are good at, things that are good attitude. You are a great person to work with in class because you're very positive with your partner. You have been keeping up with your schoolwork and doing your homework every day without your parents having to ask you. You're helping around the house, cleaning up, getting ready for dinner. Those are all good things. Write them down. Put them in your jar. Every day, pull one out, read it, and practice it. Okay, so now, um, forms and self-defense. We have, you guys have two review, two review forms, and right now we're doing two review self-defenses. So we're going to do Action Karate Form 4, which is for the beginner curriculum. And passing the horizon self-defense from the beginner's curriculum somebody's grabbing your hand behind and putting their other hand on your shoulders I don't want any trouble they grab you look when you make sure it's somebody you need to defend against drop your weight and elbow grab their hand whichever hand they have the opposite leg steps away turn them over round chest kick cover up <clears throat> okay so what I want you to do now is that I want you to do action karate form four. And you still need your partner, the partner that you had back at the beginning of class. And while you're doing action karate form four, just randomly, they're gonna come up behind you and grab your arm, pull it up behind you, and you're gonna do passing horizon. And then, as soon as you're done, you cover out. You're not gonna go back to the place you were. Wherever you were facing, you're gonna continue the form. So if I'm starting the form here, And the person grabs my hand right here. Okay, I'll look. Strike. Here. Round toes kick. Cover out. Okay, so now I'm facing this way. So I'm going to continue my form here. And they grab my, they grab my hand again. And I'm going to do my self-defense again. Look. Drop my weight. Turn. Cover up. Now I'm here and I'll finish my form this way. Up, in, out, touch down, back, push down. And set. Okay, so I want you to practice. You can either, we're going to do the same thing with action karate form eight and one of the green belt form self-defenses. So you can either practice both of them on your own and then have somebody come and attack you. Or you can do beginner one, have them attack you, then do the uh, intermediate one and have them attack you again. So now we do action karate form eight. I'm gonna run out of space here.
and the self-defense that we're doing is overhead club with sword cut. So somebody is trying to hit you in the head with a stick. You get your head out of the way. You block, you, you block their arm, not the stick. You grab turkey head, step under, take them down, take the stick, cover out. Okay, so I want you to do the same thing with action karate form eight that you did with four. You're gonna do the form and somebody's just gonna randomly attack you. Um, if you wanna use a club in the house, that's okay. Be careful, I have like lights here for my ceiling fan. You don't wanna hit that. Um, you could use a spoon, you could use a pillow, you could just use your arm, but have them randomly attack you while you're doing your form. And then, I know we don't normally do this in the red belt class, but I want you to get your screamer sticks. Beginners and intermediate are doing a screamer right now. And since we're not doing candidate class, and a lot of you guys haven't had opportunities to come and SWAT and help out with the kids' classes, uh, I wanna make sure that you still have your, 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 um, your stick sets in your head. So the next couple weeks, we're gonna be practicing those. So right now, stop your video and go get one screamer stick. Okay, so you need your coupon or whatever thing that you are using instead of coupon, a pen, a marker. You guys know star block set. Toes out in a horse stance. Up, in, out, touch, down, back, push down. And we practice this. Somebody's attacking you. You block up, come in on the side of their neck. That's your up. That's actually up and in. Somebody punches you from the side, you block in just with your arm and you turn and you strike out to the side of the neck with your coupon. Touch down, somebody grabs your hand. You pull it away and you strike the inside of their knee. They grab your hand again, back, pulls it away out of their hand, push down, punch on the knee. But what I want you to do right now is I want you to put your, your coupon in your hand and I want you to do a form any form that you want, okay? So in the middle of this form, I want somebody to attack you. So if they attack me over the top, I defend myself. Then I'm gonna continue with my form. Okay, they grab my hand, touch down. So I want you to practice the form and have somebody randomly attack you. Be nice. You gotta live with these people. If you damage them with the coupon, it's gonna the rest of this quarantine thing is gonna be really ugly. Okay, then, especially if you work with your parents, they get payback. Hand them the coupon. If they wanna do the form, that's fine. If they don't wanna do a form, just randomly throw some attacks at them and let them descend, defend themselves back. Okay, single stick. And I know you're going, that's not a stick, it's a spoon. Right, it's a spoon. It's only about half as long as my stick, not even half as long as my stick. So if you're there's less chance of taking out the glass from the microwave or the strings from the fan. So practicing blood cup, you start off with it in the right hand. You have, I put my left hand on the bottom of the stick, put my right hand above it, and I have a hands with a hand space underneath. I start here, blood cup, courtesy, step back, Make sure you cover your head. See how my head is covered? A lot of you guys are doing this. This is not head covered. This is head covered. Step forward, strike high, low, high. Orbit strike. Let the stick keep going in that direction. Make your foot follow it. Cover your head. Head's covered, it's not here. Step forward, strike down, switch hands. That's all we're gonna do right now, and then we're gonna do the other side, left hand. So, blood cup. Courtesy, stick is in my left hand. So left foot steps back, protect your head. Not here, it's here. Step forward, high, low, high. Orbit, strike. Make the stick keep going in the same direction. Cover your head, step forward, strike down, switch it back to the right hand. Okay, I'm gonna do with my back to you too. So that if, you, if it's easier for you to follow along with me that way, you can. <clears throat> so we start here, blood cup, courtesy, step back, protect your head. Step forward, high, low, high. Orbit, strike, orbit again. It's my, my right hand that's moving, my right foot moves. Cover your head, step forward, strike down, 
switch feet, come back to blood cup. Courtesy, stick is in my left hand. Left foot steps back, cover your head. Step forward, high, low, high. Orbit, strike, it's my left hand, it's going. It continues going that way, my left foot goes with it. Block, strike down, switch hands, and back to blood cup. So I want you to practice, I get a partner. Um, if you if you want to go outside or if you have a room in your house where you can use your screaming sticks, that's cool. Otherwise, use your spoon or your 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 use your use your pen. I don't care what you use. Just don't hit anybody and don't break stuff. Okay. Bow. Okay. Uh, I know it's not a bow. It's in a screaming stick. I could even do this in the kitchen with my uh, with my spoon, like I do my. Uh, <clears throat> my screaming sticks, but I just be careful not to hit anything. So we're going to go over the first half of the basic bow form, working on details. So this month we're working on excellence. So I'm going to do this with my back to you so you can follow along my feet for the stances. So I start here, I point the weapon towards my target, reach underneath, right foot's going to step out. I'm in triple chassis now, a front stance. <clears throat> so make sure that your feet are wide enough and all your toes are facing the target. This front stance is towards the corner. So I'm here. Now I'm just gonna turn my hips and come to front stance here. If my, I have a proper front stance on this side, it's still gonna work when I come to here. Step through, jingle chassis again and strike. Pull back. Okay, this wants to be here, not in here. Somebody's trying to hit my leg with a stick. So I'm taking my stick and bringing it out here and blocking it. I'm in cat stance. I'm not picking my foot up here, I'm just dragging it out. Strike, break their collarbone. Up, down, side, side. Pull back to the cat stance again, disarm and strike. Then I go the other way, front end of the bow drops. Pull it across. Slide my foot out, break the collarbone. Up, down, side, side. Disarm, stab. I'm gonna run out of space because I'm going the other way. Towards the front now. It's the back so you can follow me. Disarm, stab. Step and strike, step and strike, overhead strike, and back. And now this time I'll do it facing you. We start here, up, reach under, check your stance. Make sure it's a good solid front stance or triple chassis. Turn, another triple chassis, step. Cat stance, collarbone, up, down, side, side, disarm, strike. Other side, block the stick, break the collarbone, up, down, side, side, disarm, stab. To the front, I'm not picking my foot up here, I'm just dragging it. Core stance, disarm, stab. Step over, one, two, and strike. And make sure when you're here, you're in a nice wide jingle chassis or front stance. Okay, I want you to practice that. Just that first half. I know most of you guys know the whole form, but I want you focused on the details for that first half. <clears throat> 